Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo, and welcome to JFW Survivor Series. Let's make that JFW versus shit, my name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I am here to take a big steaming shit all over the JFW. We're live in Newcastle, England. Looks like Mr. Jim McMahon was going for the home field advantage, and he's gonna need it because we are starting off Team JFW versus Team Shit Mid-Carters. Gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Traditional Survivor Series match. That's a 4v4 tag match. Elimination. And here is the Shit Captain of the Night, Benny. <laughs> yes, you can see he's, uh, he's still got the... Uh... The fucking rats logo. Yeah, there, little he? little bit of a throwback by him, but he is covered in shit if you look at him, <laughs> and he is leading the mid card shit team. Don't know who the three other members are gonna be, but we're about to find out. And Bezel, you are not allowed to talk about anything else happening in the next twenty minutes <laughs> and uh, going on for the next three hours after that because it is not of consequence here. <laughs> yep. And here comes Team Shit. Who do we have? <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby. There's some ass kickers. A nice upskirt from McNaughty McNaughton himself. <laughs> leading the way with Geeks Wargaming and Jawsus. That's Team Shit. Skirmetzo's high intensity tournament. All three of these guys had a great run in the tournament. And they're looking to run a little bit farther into complete control of the JFW. Wow. Scared yet, Jim? Look at that crew. Well, they're not the crew. That's CR Capital EW. <laughs> I would have said I would have said it like that if I meant it like but that. But I imagine McNaughton shagged a sheep back in his day, so <laughs> you know, got something in common with them. <laughs> fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. But who will be leading Team JFW in this opening bout? We are about to find out. Yeah. Someone time out, J5. <laughs> oh, now, wait a second. Look at this. Great minds think alike. It's Chunter, the other half of the now defunct fucking rats, going up, leading a team against his former tag partner, Finny. He's still rocking the rat look, and he's out here to lead Team JFW to an early victory in this night-long war. Yeah. I hope that was on your end that the video was a bit fucked up and not because it's playing somehow, but that was bizarre. Uh, it might, no, it might, it might be, uh, it, I think it is actually, I think that's just embedded in there, unfortunately. It's just little, little bits there. And now, look at this Night Demon coming out. If that's his music, at least. There he is, the Undead Lord. But who's going to join? Who are the other two members? Oh, now, wait a second. <laughs> this isn't the spirit of things. They brought the whole trio. Looks like Gengar has officially signed up for Six Feet Down Under. And they are representing Team JFW. Of course, Gengar had a deep run in Skirmetsu's high intensity tournament, but he found some like-minded friends and that is big trouble for shit. This is not the main event. This is the opening contest, Tom. Yeah, this is how good it is. This is how stacked yeah. this pay-per-view is. Because <laughs> all those shitheads F are shitheads. They're still all exceptional wrestlers, of course. They're just gonna be on the wrong side of history. Uh, well, we might beg to differ on that one, but you are exactly right. Every single one of these matches is a main event match, in my opinion. And here we go. The fucking rats no more. One on one. This is elimination. Last men or man standing will be the winner. For Steve. Whoa! Right off the bat, a code breaker in an early pin attempt by Chunter. Oh. Oh, he got a two count, but then uh, Jaws is... Oh, and in with the Olympic slam <laughs> off the bat. Oh, the ref is down, though. Jaws has had to take the ref out because of an excellent screen by Night Demon there, saving the elimination. Yep. <laughs> oh, big miss by Chunterino. 
Yeah, he is prone to that. All those big splashes in the corner come up empty more often than not. But Finney feeling it, posing over his fallen former comrade. No, Chunter's having none of this. Ho, ho, tosses him off. Ain't no jobbers on our roster, Ancy. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry if you were looking to get on this pay-per-view. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> oh, the battle outside. Now in a traditional Survivor Series match, you can be counted out as the most famous example. The Undertaker's debut in the early 90s, he was so dominant, but then he got he got counted out. Uh, and, and that was one of the things that saved, I believe it was team, I don't know, probably Hogan, <laughs> whoever the good guys were, famously counted out in that one. And look at this, the count getting low, but no, Gdanik, everyone's going back in the ring now. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Chunder just punching the invisible man there. <laughs> Yeah, that'll happen. Physics, this is uh, my co-caster here is not Mr. Jim McMahon, the billionaire owner of the JFW, who has been uh, missing in action since a devastating backstage brawl. Ooh, big Ooh. suicide dive coming here, I think. Chunter gearing up, and yeah, the audience letting him know this is awesome, and he <laughs> sticks the landing. That took them both out. Uh, but no, my co-caster tonight is Jimmy Ventura, the long-standing yep man of the JFW. <laughs> Absolutely. That's who I am. And the, uh, the personal recipient been. of a complete and utter ass kicking later tonight at my own hands. We're going one on one in the squared circle. Yes, uh, I am going to slap the ever loving shit out of his mouth. It's going to be. Oh, cool. well, yeah, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the heat. I got everything. I've been training backstage and eating my Wheaties, and I'm ready for you. Sorry, is it Weetabix? Is that, is that how you say it in the UK? It is, yes, but I've been taking my vitamins like Hulk Hogan, so watch out. All right. Well, I don't know what a vitamin is, but I take my <laughs> vitamins every single day. Steroids. They're steroids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I was just taking Centrum. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 well, well Fro Frost Lord signed me up for that too. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, no, there's no jobbers here, is there? I mean, Geeks hasn't hasn't had much success, but he's he's you know he he did beat he did beat uh, he did beat both. EAB and Rick Reckless in a match, so that's pretty impressive. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I think if anything, for all eight of these men, the thing they've suffered most with is a lack of TV time. Crowded rosters will do that, but these are all exceptional competitors. You know, we right now in the ring, we have the longest standing tag team champs in the fucking rats, just no longer a functional tag team. Indeed. Shouldn't, of course, not getting another outfit uh, because that is just oh. him. He's not in an outfit. That is just how he, look at, how he lives. Look at this. Oh, nice uh, tag oh, team oh, maneuver there. Oh, oh, and coming over with the elbow. God, Great stuff by Jazus and Finney. You might see a lot of excellent tag maneuvering action because I think someone figured out a lot of missing moves in everyone's character cards. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, it was just the settings uh, the Night Demon said that they said this caused crashes, that's why I never added them, but um, I guess it uh, should. Yep, no no issues on my end when I saw that. But we don't talk about the behind the curtain stuff till after the show. Exactly. Ooh, little bit of disrespect there from Chunter as he tags in the power oh bomb nightmare Gengar, yeah. the ghost, the tomb guardian. And barely outstriping, <laughs> <laughs> outstriping Jawsus in height. But look at that power bomb into the pinfall, but in the wrong corner. Can't see this hanging on. Yeah, and he's uh, easy, easily broken up there. <laughs> yeah, it's a seven, it's a six foot ten Jawsus, but uh, but Gengar is a seven foot monster. So. Oh, look at this! Look at this power bomb <laughs> into something else. Oh, into oh no, into the arc lay. Oh. And Night Demon has an easy pinfall here. Someone's going to have to protect this one. And no, Chunter picked the long way round. And he's taking an <laughs> AA for his trouble right onto Jaws' head. Oh, God, no. 
like the F skirt oh, and everything. Oh, my oh no, a second one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, the zombie, the double zombie, the I'm triple do zombie. One. Is he going for three? Oh my goodness, J Team JFW is not fucking around tonight, folks. <laughs> that is incredible. Gdanek looks like the rope has gone through his body. <laughs> Jesus Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure Gdanek and Jaws are completely fucked here. <laughs> Whoa, oh, no, Jaws is kicked out! He somehow kicked out! And the inverted atomic drop is McNaughton getting back out of the ring where he belongs right now. <laughs> and now, wow, Jaws is hyped up after survi somehow surviving that flurry. Is now going right after Night Demon outside the ring here. And meeting his commandments instantly. What a match. These guys really care about their brands. Because, you know, that's important stuff. Yeah, it's super important. We certainly don't have to feign drama with this feud, folks. Exactly. Yeah, shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you know what? I've decided I'm just going to let you have the night. We'll sort our differences out in the ring, and we can call it at that. We've both got a job to do. We're both being given probably the best pay-per-view in professional wrestling history right now. Probably, and I'm just yeah. going to ride that wave as uh, just like the Night Demon is riding this wave of German <laughs> suplexes. Absolutely. How old Tony are oh, the face of the JFW has arrived at the arena. Oh. Glorious. Tony had to peek. Oh, oh look shit. at this, though. Setting something up here. Oh, I for I did forget to mention an important stipulation here. Uh, KOs will count for eliminations, not that one's about to come. <laughs> Just wanted everyone to know. Nope, he didn't actually get knocked oh, out. Man. thought he did. <laughs> yeah, KOs will get you eliminated in this one because this match would have run too long. But the straight-up pinfall, no one looking after Night Demon on that one. And he is eliminated. Shit is up four to three right now. Tony plays poorly, peeking out from behind the curtain to watch his lads, and he just lost one quarter of them. But you got a big match main event. Tony plays poorly, leading the JFW All Star team against the shit All Star team led by Skirmetso and almost assuredly Tarsus. Yep. Oh, another Olympic slam. Jaws is, they're just, this is a spot fest tonight, folks. <laughs> oh, oh last just, second, <laughs> Chunter with the save, and he pays for it with that big right fist, but no counters him out. Whoa, everyone's And out. oh, everyone's in comes Geeks, in comes in. Oh, oh, that for the ref. Off. <laughs> They did not like that one bit. Telling the ref to keep an eye on the JFW corner, constantly interfering. Jaws is setting up for another Olympic slam, maybe. Go. He's got it. <laughs> Geeks is going through. Oh, he way. knocked him out. Oh, yeah, and there it is. You can see oh, a Night God. Demon completely knocked out. And now it's 4-2. to two. JFW oh, wow. getting dominated right now. They're going to need a big comeback here. Yeah, it's, that's, that's disgusting. Cheating. Oh, but look at this. The crystal walls of Chunterino. Can he lock it in? Oh, that no. could be a quick tap. I mean, oh, yes. Ja oh, yes. Jaws is taking a ton of damage. Can he tap. hang on? Yes. No, he taps. And Chunter, just like that, almost gets him level. It's three on two. But one of those two is the size of all three of the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. McNaughton uh, maybe just going to hold him here for the ten count. <laughs> <laughs> McNaughton didn't know whether to fight him or fuck him, so didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Geeks missed it. <laughs> I think he hit McNaughton in the back there. Yeah. McNaughton, no stranger to being fucked over by his tag partner. <laughs> or should I say fucked by his tag partner's wife. But... <laughs> oh, oh, we're at a six count here for both McNaughton and Chunter, I believe. Chunter back in the ring. McNaughton soon to follow. Match continues. Can he get the hot tag? He does. Oh boy. And here's a here's a battle for you. Oh, McNaughton just stands up and takes it to the oh, face, but he dodges face. the big boot into a side rush and leg sweep. What a maneuver by McNaughton to get on top of the big man. Yeah. Flying forearm into the corner. Shit really wants to notch this early win. They've got an uphill battle in front of them tonight. Oh, what's coming here? Look at this. Oh, my doing? gosh. He's setting him up for a muscle buster, and Geek's going top rope. 
Muscle Buster into what, a coup de gras maybe? Looks like it, yup. <laughs> Shades of their Captain Finney. The coup de gras lands, and now the pinfall attempt on Gengar. Is that gonna be enough to put the Tomb Guardian down? Yeah. Oh. No, the two and a half count kick out. Chunter was outside the ring. He could not have interrupted that at all. He's still, he's still hurting on the outside. That could have been it right there. You got to think if 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 the uh, shitheads get the next elimination, it's going to be over. Isn't oh. it? Three well, they're four. going going right back to the muscle buster, and now they're adding the weight to the coup de gras. McNaughton going to hit oh. it. Drops him, doesn't knock him out, but can he get the pinfall here? Sorry, I got oh, distracted God. there. Good news, everyone. Mrs. Gorilla Mezzo tested negative for COVID. Had a little bit of a oh, scare fantastic. there the other day, and we're good to go. Glorious. Oh, an upskirt from, uh, an upskirt from Gengar, but there's nothing to see there. <laughs> Not the worst. All right. The Tomb Guardian getting worked over by the triple team. Are we going to see a third of these? Oh, oh, maybe they've gone to the well one too many times here. Maybe. But, yeah, three muscle busters into a coup de gras. This has got to be it for Gengar. It's got to be. Here comes the pin from Geeks. Can he kick out? Oh. And he does. Unbelievable showing by Gengar, but he's just outnumbered right now. He does have a tag partner. Can he get to him to tag out and try and extend this match? I like that he's got, like, mittens on. <laughs> oh, and there it is. He gets him into the corner here. Oh, what's what's happening here? Oh, boy, just stomping a mud hole into Geeks. Tagging in Chunter. Going to do the same. <laughs> Bit of a unicorn stomp here, I think they call it. Yep, going yeah. around the circle here. And poor Geeks' his chest just caving in every time. You got the big weight, and now the big feet of Chunter. Oh, my goodness. Geeks annihilated by that one. <laughs> Little dance from Gengar. <laughs> Glorious. But oh. only a two-count Geeks hangs on. Finny and Chunter going at it uh, uh, up top in the ring there. Look at this by oh. Geeks. Nice takedown. Looking at the size disparity, but he has beaten EAB and Rick Reckless in the same match before. <laughs> he sure has. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, with the count outs, that, that technique will not be at his disposal tonight. Nice DDT, though, to help him out. Oh, no! Oh, he missed and bounced off that turnbuckle. That looked real painful for the knee. It really did. And he sends him back into the corner. Are we going to see another muscle buster? Nope, something else. He's working that arm over. I've got to say I'm happy I haven't seen it a fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, don't don't count your blessings or <laughs> your chickens just yet. <laughs> oh, another DDT to drop him. Oh, big, big uh, counter. Can he get the tag in? The, the tag. pinfall on Geeks. No one coming in the ring here. That's because they knew Geeks had it in him to kick out. I don't know how he did, but he somehow did. <laughs> don't count all of your chickens in one basket. But if you do, make sure it's a strong basket. That was great advice I learned from Wanger. <laughs> That was a bad time to celebrate. Oh, look at this. Oh, Tying wow. those arms yeah. up so he can't protect himself. Nice, DDT. I like the form on that one a lot. Yeah, very nice. And Geeks showing some power. Oh, he knocked him out. He knocked him out with the big move. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And we're down to one three on one right now. Sit down, power bomb into the pin. No way. No way. Two count kick Come out. On, Chun and I, I Chunter. Guess actually, yeah, with the with the knockouts, there is a way back, isn't there? At three versus one. Without knockouts, he'd be absolutely fucked. A but, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I will say the stipulation in the main event was no knockouts. That's your traditional Survivor Series match. But this one, it's possible I spent four hours trying to get a result from <laughs> last night. And I finally gave up. <laughs> 
the first one I took of these was 48 minutes long and before I quit and it hadn't ended. Well, Jim, you're going to get your wish. Here we go. <laughs> They're really rocking that hard muscle buster. Coup de gras. <laughs> and now the pinfall to end it. If you ask me, let's see. Now, main event is 4v4. You can't do 5v5, Frost Lord. Yeah, it's the maximum that this game allows you. Yep. Means, okay, tragically. They don't actually have an option. And there you go. Team shit. Victorious. Pretty dominant fashion. What a great win to start the night. But, folks, buckle up. We've got about 90 more minutes of wrestling ahead of us. Lots of action. Lots of matches. And this one is, it is not going to go this way all night. Shit dominant in the opener. I have to say, what? JFW was screwed by the uh, screwed by the knockouts in that one, weren't they? Yeah, the knockouts came, you know, but they, you know, that, that swings both ways. They just had the bad timing. But team shit overwhelming them tonight. Great opening match. Great start for shit. The rivalry continues next with the Plim Plom Bluserweight Championship on the line. Muppet Pac-Man, we're about to find out. We don't know who his opponent is going to be. Or maybe we do. Look at this. Folks, settle in. This is a hell of an entrance. Here's Just Joe. <laughs> He's competing for the Plim Plom Bluserweight Championship. Oh, yeah. Mighty, yeah. No surprises there. That's who gets the call. <laughs> oh, now wait a second. Our ring announcer just said this is an elimination match. That implies there's going to be more than two competitors. Just Joe. Sounds like we're in for more people. Let's see who else is coming out. <laughs> it's a great entrance. Absolutely. Oh boy, and next out, the Blue Bomber. This is a much better entrance for him. Yeah, it's good as it? yeah, All good. right. Blue Bomber, Just Joe, and Muppet Pac Man, triple threat elimination. Yeah, you have Fuxomania. Yeah, it totally does. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second! That's LeBred Mask's music! Are we getting a, f a fatal four way LeBred Mask? The Friday fuckboy, he's been on a tear. <laughs> he's a lot of people's favorites to be a two time Flim Blum Bluser Way champion. Yeah, LeBred, he has been on a tear recently, LeBred Mask. Certainly he hasn't gone stale yet to the audience. <laughs> they love him. Very good. Wait a second. And now Antsy's coming out. <laughs> Antsy getting picked. Now we're going we're going fatal five way apparently. Oh my goodness. Well if you talk about stacking a deck against Muppet Pac-Man, your Plim Plum Bluserweight Championship champion. <laughs> well Tony plays poorly made sure of that, I think. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. A uh, fifth man, Moradam with the shears. The literal fucking goblin making his way into the ring now. <laughs> oh, J5, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> but no. All right, is that it? Are we going to get our champ? Yes, we are. And here he comes. The Blim Blom Bluserweight Champion gyrating out. He knows the odds. Look at that determination on his unibrowed face. He ain't afraid of nothing. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, this is a six-man elimination match. This, this reminds me of world class back in the 1980s. <laughs> It sure does. <laughs> no, no, champ. This is a uh, six-way elimination match, I believe. Yeah, with falls count anywhere. This reminds. Oh yes, me falls of count class. anywhere on this back one. Helps uh, space out the ring. We'll see if that comes into play. Muppet Pac-Man has the determined look of a champion. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Room for anyone what? except Muppet Pac-Man I am, to be honest. 
Interesting choice by Tony plays poorly, putting five men against the champion. None of them shit branded except for uh, Muppet Pac-Man, the champ himself. Almost like Tony plays poorly desperately wants to get that title back in the hands of the JFW. Hey. And yeah, frankly, you can't really blame him for that. Blue Bomber is a JFW boy through and through. He was snaffled away from uh, his good friend Skuro's high intensity tournament and he is a full on JFW boy That's absolutely fun. actually absolutely considered an, uh, an exclusive contract even though he was allowed to participate in that 30 man battle royal um, yeah Mr. Jims McMahon made him sign a specific contract that did not allow him to compete on shit again which made no sense since he'd already been eliminated but hey <laughs> there you go not much that Mr. Jims McMahon has done uh, Management-wise, has made a whole lot of sense, if you ask me. Well, once again, Gorilla, nobody <laughs> ever does ask you. <laughs> I, I, I set that one up for you, Jim. <laughs> yep. Oh, the bread and nice butter. Silly bugger. Oh wow. Jim's is god. There you go, cocky. Glorious. Trending number one on Twitter worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it looked like uh, Ansi just broke his uh, ankle there. That looked like that looked still like does. Uh, that quarterback. He just hit the, hit it on the ground to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Muppet taking on two guys outside. Although one of them is Ansi, who's just spread eagled there taking a nap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just Joe rolling to the outside. Oh, the testicular claw locked in on the Friday oh, yes. fuckboy. No, he I might be a Saturday, uh, a Saturday uh, iced balls. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, unfortunately, that doesn't come up over the uh, over the thing. Unfortunately, over the thing. That means I can't see Matthew Ori. Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, uh, Moridan was going for the uh, ball shot there, didn't he? But it was counted somehow. <laughs> this is the definition of a power ball. <laughs> we don't need this up again. All right, it sounds like we will have a commentator for our match, Jim. It sounds like uh, Flicky Flack will do the job for us. Thank you, Flicky, for offering that. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you, Flicky Flack. Oh, and here's a pinfall on the champ. Could he be out of his own match? No. Kicks out at one. Muppet Pac-Man hanging on. <laughs> Nancy missing horribly with that drop kick. He does have a helmet on, yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, nice, nice baseball Beautiful. slide by uh, by Blue Bomber Ooh. there. Oh, no! Oh, what? <laughs> we all saw that, right? Yeah. Oh, and here comes the worm on Ansi. Full, or excuse me, full on snake oh, by baby. Muppet Pac Man. This could be it for Ansi. <laughs> oh, savage. And the pinfall attempt. Can Ansi kick out of the finisher? He can. Wow. Ansi's staying in it. Hasn't had a ton of chances in his uh, in his career thus far, making the most of them when he can. Nice flying elbow by Moradan there to Just Joe, who is going to be the first elimination in this match. Whoa! <laughs> Ansi... That sunset flip powerbomb to the outside, 10 feet of concrete, and then the DDT right back into it. And now another pinning attempt on Ansi outside the ring here. I tell you what, Moradon loves a taunt, doesn't he? Was that he three? sure does. It was. And, and that's <laughs> it. Ansi could not withstand that concrete. Now a pin on the bread mask. No, just a two count kick out there. Muppet Pac Man wisely just watching with no opponent now, taking a little bit of a breather here. Cheers, Cocky. See you, Kaki. Blue Bomber, maybe, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, that's the great thing about the JFW, isn't it? You it's never know. Anything Ooh, pinning happen. attempt on Just Joe. Two count kick out Moradam working over. And Muppet, again, very smart strategy by him. He got an early elimination. Now he gets to uh, 
hang out. Well, physics, if you don't like Mega Man's helmet, you're gonna hate. Uh, you're gonna hate some of the other competitors in the JFW <laughs> who wear full body armor, knight armor, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! The double pinfalls here. Wow. Blue Bomber eliminated oh, by Muppet Pac-Man. Just Joe's been pinned for about eight minutes now. <laughs> yeah. And that'll do it. Your final three, Moradam, LeBret Mask, and Muppet Pac-Man, who's still just hanging out over on the side there. <laughs> Moradam oh, but now pretending Moradam... to be eliminated, joining in the walkout <laughs> of the ring. He sure did. Oh, and this looks bad for the champ, getting double teamed here by Moradam and... Le bread mask, but they keep uh, intercepting each other. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh look at this maneuver! Nice right. electric chair drop there. Le bread mask going top rope. Oh, Snake boy. coming. Who's gonna hit it? It's oh! <laughs> Le bread mask all the way across the ring <laughs> with that beautiful jump. Incredible. Oh no. Whoa. Reverse exploder suplex there. What or whatever you call it. Yeah, incredible. Moradam. Oh, oh no! <laughs> the testicular claw to the champ! To the champ! Champ's in trouble here! This could be it. <laughs> oh, the, you're a bit echoey, uh, Gorilla. No, that's Flicky. Oh, you're a bit echoey, Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> We'll call you. We'll call you in the booth when we're heading out for our match, Flicky. And Moradam here. He's got the champ isolated right now. Lebred Mask recovering on the side. Oh, classic Moradam nails him. Might have a pinfall here. Could we see the champ eliminated? Oh, curb stomp. Oh no! Oh. That's it. That's it. He's got Muppet. He's got Muppet out. Here comes Lebred Mask. We're gonna be down to Moradam and Lebred Mask. Oh. No! Muppet kicked out! Muppet oh, kicks out! The bread mask taken over! Moradam taking a breather! Smart move! <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're fine, Flicky. Yeah, no, oh, oh, it's oh, the six There one. we go! Classic! Now you now you know Muppet Pac-Man's here to play. He hits the 619, sticks the landing. Will he get the pinfall? <laughs> <laughs> Moradam wants the glory. Sneaky fucking and goblin. And he's going to get it. <laughs> oh, and he turns around quick and gets right oh! in on the testicular claw. Moradam's going to do it. Moradam's going to do it. He's got it ripping at his dick there. <laughs> Muppet fighting back. Oh, look at this. Ooh, Beautiful leg like drop that. to the outside using all his momentum. Looking to fly back in, I think. He's sizing him up. Moradam not being stupid. He's staying on the mat because <laughs> he knows he wants him standing. <laughs> well, battle of wills going on here. Moradam <laughs> finally, maybe he's going to lose that battle. Crawling to the ropes. And Muppet uh, abandons his attack. Okay, back in the action. <laughs> Oh, oh nice DDT by Moradam, and here we go. Arm drag takedown by Muppet. These two have been in some elimination bout wars before, but nothing like this. Absolute veterans of multi-man matches. Absolutely, Moradam, one of the best in those four-way elimination matches. Oh, nice drop by Moradam, face plants him, and gets his face right in his balls. You know that's where Moradam likes to be. <laughs> yep. And I think he's sizing him up he, for the ball shot here, isn't he? That's why he's... He he's sure playing. is. I think I think we are moments away from a new Plim Plum Pluserweight champion. Wait a second. Look at this. I hate that move, but hey, I'll take it. Let's go shit. Here comes the pinfall. No, no just a... Was that even a two count? The ref said it was a two count. It looked like a one count to me. Dragon screw takedown by Moradam. These two very evenly matched here. But Moradam laying it into him. He's so vicious. <laughs> he sure is. Whoop. Nice turn. Uh, spins around him. Hits the DDT. Might have put him out there. Here's the pinfall. Oh, is this it? No. 
Now, two count again. Mordam cannot seal the deal. He's going to have to go to that low blow. That's how he puts these guys away. Oh, oh counters. he countered it. The quick knee counters the low blow. Smart by Muppet. He knew it was coming. He's been, a, he, again, they faced each other so many times. <laughs> and now Mordam dumped to the outside. Muppet going to fly here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he comes up empty, knees down. Remember, this is false count anywhere. Dangerous situation for Muppet here. Could be minutes away. Oh, what a Ooh, maneuver. Very effective maneuver. And here's the pinfall. Ref coming over a little slow on that count there. Oh. And gets a two count. I think Muppet had a three count there. Wouldn't this be a shame? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think you and I are going to disagree on that one. <laughs> oh, going for a second oh. one. No, my ball the counter. Oh, yes. Counter into a power bomb. What a move by Moradam. Counter again. Dragon screw on the bad knee. Mm -hmm. And now Muppet trying to amp himself up to end this match and retain against all odds. But Moradam has a thing or two to say about that. Oh, Dodges another blow. one of those attacks. Oh, oh that's a low blow. Oh over that's it. oh and and just like that the plim plump lose away championship is Whoa! not going anywhere muppet is kicked out he survives the ball shot yeah more damn calling to the heavens what else do i have to do to win this match where's the ref gone he's just fucked up <laughs> yeah i don't know the ref doesn't want to get anywhere near the goblin i guess <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe Muppet's got like a, a, a foot-long sub down his pants yeah, he, absorbing the impact. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Muppet sizing him up. Might see another one of those uh, those those unique takedowns on the outside. <laughs> oh, he, he shorted it, folks. He shorted it. And he misses with the drop kick. <laughs> oh, oh, he didn't so short it that time. He nails it. He nails it. This could be it. He's going for the pinfall. Ref, get in there and count. God damn it. Oh, no way. No way. Oh. He's done it. He's done it. He's retained the Blim Blom Bluserweight Championship for shit. Shit now 2-0 over the JFW tonight. What a win for Muppet Pac-Man. He retains against five other men in an elimination match. The belt is bigger than the man, <laughs> but not bigger than his heart. Muppet Pac-Man with the win. All and right. ladies and gentlemen, it's time. I'm going to head ringside. Flicky, get in here and call this one for us. Yeah, I'm going to kick the shit out of this shithead. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Hello, hello, and thank you very much, Gorilla, for inviting me on. Absolute pleasure to be here, as always. Here he comes, the big man himself. Striding down to the ring in a very dapper looking red suit. And he is wrestling, of course. The founder, owner, CEO, the great man himself. These two titans of the commentary box going head to head. And his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 245 pounds, Jimmy Ventura. And here he is, the all action electric entrance. He is. Pumping up everybody in the crowd, including me in comms. Here is the great man himself. This is a huge showdown of our two favorite commentators. Sizing each other up now. 
And there's the bell. Here we go. And starts with a slap to the face and a miss slap from from Jim. Gorilla with the upper hand. Trading slaps. You can feel the tension in the air with each hulking blow from these two monsters. At some point we may see an actual wrestling move. Gorilla taking a little bit of time out from the slapping. <laughs> Jim really getting into his stride now. But no, Gorilla comes back. Oh, and hits him with a stomach kick. Still trying the the face slap from inside the ring to outside. I'm not sure that's going to connect. Here we go. Now we have the action recommencing. The face slap. Um, are continuing to rain down. Oh, a double. They hit each other at the same time. This is incredible scenes here, people. I have never seen the likes of this. We may never see the likes of this again. Another double. They hit each other again and reel away, but it's Gorilla that recovers faster and he continues to pummel, but no. Jim on the return. He gets three or four in a row. This is incredible stuff from these two. Gorilla stopping to pose for all of the cameras in that front row of the crowd and lets Jim continue this mighty battering. The technique that we see here and it's being called. It is a draw. Whew. Oh boy, well, legends will be told of that <laughs> battle, Jim. I gotta give it to you. That was one hell of a match. I, you have my respect, sir. I, you know, a lot of words have been said over the last month. And I just want to say thank you. I think we really showed the audience what we're made of tonight. And that was as good a draw as I've ever seen in the professional sport of wrestling. It was an absolute war. I don't see there's any way that Frost Lord Army and Ardvac can possibly follow this match. No, <laughs> absolutely not. But hey, we don't need to talk about ourselves because we just put on a wrestling clinic. <laughs> Let's get back to the action of Survivor Series. Another shit-held belt is up for grabs. Ardvac is defending the extra arms belt against... The hand picked by his best buddy, Nepotism, as always. Frost Lord Army, can he seal the deal and bring the super heavyweight title back to the JFW? Let's fucking hope so. And thanks, Flicky Flack, for that no doubt electric commentary. Oh, match. I can't imagine a better voice to call a match that clinical than Flicky Flack. Thank you, sir. Uh, you you are very welcome. That was an absolute incredible display. I'll pass it back over to the professionals right now. <laughs> 40 years of age and we still got it, Jim. I got to tell you, pretty oh, proud yeah. of myself. Uh, me too. Incredible, incredible stuff. I tell you what, you, you can certainly bang Skuro. <laughs> Talk some shit about you. But you can certainly, <laughs> you've certainly got some yeah, power so in you that know, like, I'm yeah, I got, I, I gotta say, you know, I, I, I had been, I had been training for a while, really studying all the tapes, looking for a move set that I knew I could really sink my teeth into, and uh, it's nice to see that you put in the time and the effort too. Really brought the thunder. You know what? Uh, sad we didn't get a result for the audience, but I don't think there was a way that match could end without a draw because we are just so evenly matched at the top of the totem pole, if you ask me. For once, I will ask you, yes, I agree. We are the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> right, but now... He's, he's forsaken his, uh, his uh, like, what's it called? Um, homeless man. His coat, coat. Yeah, his homeless man coat. Wanted to show off that belt, I guess. Don't know. But he's here. Do not hurt him because he's going to bring the fight to you. 
that didn't make any sense. But, hey, he's a great wrestler. He knows how to fight. A little out of his element having to go one-on-one, though. Could that be a significant advantage to Frost Lord Army? Here we go. Just cut out of the neck, what did you do on purpose? Introducing the champion from Yeah, the extra arms belt championship. The super heavy Frost Lord Army versus the light heavy Ardvac who somehow Well he, he was he was thrown in that match uh, at TLC due to him being robbed of the uh, robbed of his um, money in the ass contract by Wanger and then he was given yep. a shot of redemption which he took and he's somehow won the biggest belt in the well the heaviest <laughs> belt in the, the heaviest weight belt <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you know Ardvac it doesn't really matter the weight class he's gone up against multi men all the time he can hang with the best of them and here we go yeah, he did. One on one. He did. He ran. He ran Brock Lesnar out of the chair. W. The, the Absolutely, and and, and we all sword. we're all better for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but Frostlord bringing the fire. No, countered by Ardvac. <laughs> Humorous chip. Jesus. <laughs> it's a signed personal gift, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for a year's worth of subs, gifted subs to this channel. <laughs> Long time sub me, Khalifa. Anyway, let's get back to the action in the ring. Oh, uh, yeah, you picked a good time to pay attention. Frostlord about to go for a ride, face planted into the mat there. Ardvac taking it to him. Oh, that was nice a, spin kick. That was a foolish move from Frosty. <laughs> Yep, opened up his midsection and got kicked by the sandaled uh, homeless man. <laughs> yep. And I tell you what, for as ridiculous as Advac looks, he is, he, is, he is an absolute warrior, isn't he, to be fair? <laughs> he actually races in the same outfit he fights in. Well, that explains it. <laughs> oh, but the big boot, the great equalizer, Frostlord slowing down the momentum. No, he's not. Arm drag, take down, and now, is he looking? Oh, I looked for a minute like he was thinking about that disarmor already. No, he's just going to work the chin instead there. Yeah, I tell you what, that uh, that that disarmor that he's got is so powerful against these super heavies, isn't it, who are generally weak against submissions. So he's, he's, he's mm. not out of his element, actually, this uh, technical masterclass from this yeah. shithead. Came up empty on the drop kick though. And, uh, and, oh, Art, he's trying to take the ropes with him there. Frostlord just making him bounce off him at times. Definitely using his weight to his advantage here. And, you know, Frostlord, considered pretty small by super heavyweight standards, uh, still has a significant size and power advantage in this match. Yep. <laughs> he's, like a ha he's like a Hawaiian shirt away from being a boogaloo boy. <laughs> That's actually a great idea, Matthew. <laughs> That's a genuinely great idea. Sounds like a lot of work, and a lot of work isn't what the JFW is all about. <laughs> True, but it's. Uh... Oh, I think I think I think Frostlord's trying to unhook. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to unhook that chest protector there. Didn't get it <laughs> off though. Trying to uh, maybe level the playing field here, get the body armor away. Instead, he's going for this underhook soup. No! Oh, what a counter! What a counter by Ardvac! <laughs> that is his origin story, yes, Bessel. <laughs> I, I believe so. And here's a pin attempt by Ardvac. Just a one count, way too early. I think if this match ends with another title uh, being retained, it's going to be via the arm bar. Or the, excuse me, the disarmor. Yep. <laughs> he would answer you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> don't know how he got the body armor to be honest but there you go he's got it and he scrawled shit and don't hurt me on it oh big knee to the midsection and a clubbing blow drops the extra arms belt champion oh fuck is indeed shit yep <laughs> yeah that's a fair question physics but he is one of the chief shitheads <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and look at that beautiful maneuver into a nice pin there, but he only gets the one count. <laughs> exactly. <huh? laughs> oh. Nice Jeez. DDT takedown. <laughs> yeah, oh, you'll have to scrap. You'll have to scrap for shoes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The last ride. Whoa. The last ride. He's got him up. Oh. He's put him down. Oh. Oh, I think we have a new champion. Here we go. Dragging him right off those ropes there. Going for the pinfall. Oh, desperate times for Ard back here. <laughs> Just the one count. Unbelievable. Ard so hard to put away. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Going back to try and get that body armor off of him. Trying desperately to unhook it. Doesn't look like he's succeeded. <laughs> So now I think maybe he's thinking going to that pedigree. That'll put him away. And here it comes. Hooks the arms. He's got him up. What? Oh. No. Oh, using his momentum to counter out. What a counter by Ardvac. Winds him up and clotheslines him. How does he keep doing this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Exploder suplex <laughs> into the corner. Ardvac on fire. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> and the pinfall here off the exploder. This could put him away. No, just the one count. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it just is. She must be yeah, be nice. Be be Becky Lynch gets the uh, stone cold treatment in this game, I think. Yeah, she must be min max tested. Doesn't matter what you set his attributes to. If you have her move set, you're going to win. <laughs> Same as Tony. We've, we've, we've Ooh, bumped Tony's stats around so many times. There's the disarmor, though. No, he grabs the rope. He got a rope break. Lucky, lucky he was positioned there because that was going to be it. Oh, Frosty's up for now. Come on, Frosty. You can do it. Oh, God. What's oh, this? oh, oh, Frosty. What this could hell? be desperate. This could be a desperate maneuver by the big man. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, he hit it. He hit it and he's right into the pin. That was incredible. Oh, oh the two count. He, you know what? I don't know, Frost Lord, but it, but it were, it almost worked. Caught the champ there. Said, if I can't crack that armor, I'm just gonna compress it. <laughs> but now those quick low kicks. Oh no, he catches him on the cross body. Oh, into that big backbreaker. Frost Lord fired up right now. <laughs> oh, claps the ears to escape it. Oh <laughs> no, fell a little short there. But Frostler did not counter quick enough and gets punched anyway. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, what a slam. That's a lot of distance to fall. Absolutely brutal. Okay. Oh, no, another exploder suplex. Oh, He's dropped him. He's dropped him. <laughs> oh, that, that hair flip. That hair flip is usually a sign of the times here. Here's the pinfall. He's got him! Ardvac got him! He's retained! Yet another retention for shit! They are ringing it in right now! Taking everything home! Ardvac with the huge win! Beautiful, beautiful finale! Great match by both competitors! But Ardvac able to retain the extra arms belt championship! Man, this is shit storm. This is ridiculous! That was crazy. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. Like, just not just shitting all over that. 3 one oh. oh, yeah, I guess there was a... Uh... <laughs> oh, our, oh, Frost Lord. <laughs> Man, it's, it's bad news, isn't it? Bloody shitheads. <laughs> this is... Uh... It's a bad night for the JFW, but... It's pretty much all on the final match, though, isn't it? The final match is for control of the JFW, so... 
the end of the day, we well, still got hope in Tony. Yeah, got a ways to go, but folks, this one isn't about shit. This one is about love, makers, whatever else. A ladder match. EAB calling for a ladder match against Demon Prince Rick Reckless in the first ever Chaos Chosen Championship title defense by Demon Prince Rick Reckless. EAB came out on Friday, said he was going to bite the taint and pull it out of the body of Demon Prince Rick Reckless. He's going to take that chaos taint by with his three arms and wrench it out of everyone and into himself to save humanity. And look at that. He's coming down. The Chaos Chosen Championship will not have that power on Demon Prince Rick Reckless as it hangs above the ring for any to grab. Yeah, that's a very good point. It will not be exerting its horrendous influence anymore, will it? Frost Lord, the way the way you contend with shit is you put all your hope in that main event. Tony plays poorly, better come up with something to change this because the rails are running off the station and that is not a sentence that made any sense. <laughs> Par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then you talk a bit too much. <laughs> well, here he comes. Hopefully the ring... Wait wait a, wait a second. It's... It, it, it's Rick. It's Rick Reckless, the Demon Prince. Could it be? Could it be the belt? The belt is the power. The belt is the source of the evil. Rick, he's still clearly possessed by it. But he does not seem to have that, that, that strength, that demonic strength. He's here now to face EAB in this ladder match. Oh, this is a mismatch. It's like EAB knew exactly what he was doing calling for this ladder match. Oh, oh, oh EAB, he's brainy, isn't he? He's got a big brain in that computer of his. Big computer brain in that uh, big body. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, folks. Chosen a chaos. The belt dangling above this ladder match. Oh, boy. And EAP <laughs> just... Yeah, well, I mean, what did you expect? <laughs> EAP having no mercy on the little man. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> the other guy is flicky he just doesn't talk a lot Matthew <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness extra arms bot taking it to Rick right now oh my god this is a massacre there's no need for this EAB just, just go up the ladder and get the belt uh, yeah no kidding you could just throw him out of the arena and probably <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Unbelievable. He's rolling him over. Oh, God, he's going to put that big boot right into him, caves his <laughs> chest in. But you know what? After everything Demon Prince Rick Reckless did to EAB's family. Oh. Uh, wait. Wait a second. That's Bezel's music. And there he is. Bezel looks like he's going to power walk his way out <laughs> into this fight. No one to stop him. Here comes Bezel. Oh, and Bezel seems to have joined this match and EAB instantly going right after him. And now Rick, are they teaming up here on EAB in this ladder match? Oh man. Bezel grabbing the ladder. Bezel what is happening? Under the control of, the, of the, this chaos evil, isn't he? Wait, Bezel just took out Rick. Oh. <laughs> Bezel, maybe Bezel saw do you think the hold that Rick had over Bezel is gone with the power siphoned away with that belt above the ring? Mm. Oh, dear. Anything could happen here. Wow, well, Bezel definitely going after Rick there, and Rick taking it right back to Bezel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matthew, Ori, if you haven't seen Bezel before, <laughs> welcome to the JFW, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> And Rick has the ladder now going up for his precious up there. 
And there it is. Oh, no, Rick could steal it. Be oh, EAB boy. might have been distracted. No, EAB. Oh, oh he's, he's going to climb. <laughs> Trying to get up there. I don't think Bezel's going to be able to move that ladder. No, right I don't now. think so. <laughs> he sure can. And Rick almost choke slammed oh, off, God. now just thrown down. <laughs> and EAB going up. EAB's got it. He's All he's got to do is unhook it. No, Bezel, quick hit to him. Rick going to try and push. No. Oh, EAB going to oh, try and push. Or excuse me, Bezel going to try and push with him. And they got the ladder down. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> and Bezel with the ladder going after his former master? Still don't know what's going on between these two as they fight over that ladder. Yeah, I'm not really I'm not really sure of the dynamics here, but uh, it looks like it looks like Bezel wants to get his his tainted hands on this belt, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. He wants it himself, maybe. Maybe a power play here. Rick trying to stop him desperately. Up top there, here comes EAB. <laughs> Hits him right in the ass to knock him down. <laughs> and now I think Rick's going to go for a ride here. Yep. <laughs> power bomb. Oh, boy. <laughs> Matthew, uh, it's, uh, it takes a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it's multiple matches edited together to get it to work. Yes. No, you. it's just what I do. <laughs> yeah, it's all thanks to Skuro. Yep. Skuro is up till about 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. last night with this fucking match <laughs> or show. This is the only match I had to record multiple times. Mm. Well, that's not true, but pretty much true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And there it is, nice tornado DDT, but Rick has the ladder, and that's how you win the match. And, oh, well, he put the ladder through Bezel's face there. Yeah, exactly, Zakari. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, be just swinging wildly here. Even the audience is stunned into silence right now. They don't know what to do with this match. <laughs> oh, EAB interrupted a big move by Bezel, I think, and now taking down Rick. Oh, no, Bezel rolling out of the ring. Ladder falls on him. That can't feel too good. <laughs> no, no, that was one and done. Uh, all those one-on-one -on -one matches are one and done. I don't pick the results nope. on those. I just let it happen because I got to save time somehow. Oh, no, <laughs> Crucifix Powerbomb. Crucifix Powerbomb. My God. How on Unbelievable. Earth did he do that? Yeah, I mean, determination to get back his uh, his Chaos Chosen Championship sets up the ladder. Looks like he's gonna climb it, and he did. <laughs> Flip me, guys! How on earth did he do that? <laughs> yeah, he just climbed so slowly. <laughs> so slow. He's got to be careful. And Rick now, Rick taking a fall, taking a spill there. But now EAB's got his hands on the belt. Bezel's gonna try and stop him. Oh, wow. Yes, he is. It's amazing how he bends his elbows. I know, I know. <laughs> his wrist. His wrist. Because he's too big. <laughs> Bethel finally able to work EAB off that. Oh, no. Oh, oh the ring. Nice. Oh, the ring held up. Whew. Jesus. Maybe Christ. there is something to be said about the structural integrity of the JFW rings versus mm, shit. Indeed. EAB taking a punch and then the Benzai drop. <laughs> Well, is Rick gonna get the? And, is Rick gonna get this? I mean, Rick Bezel. Be, Rick's outside. E yeah, he's down. And this could be Bezel. Bezel's got his hands on it. No one's stirring. Oh, here comes EAB. He's getting up. EAB to his feet now. And he, oh, oh, he starts his long old <laughs> climb. Hot pursuit. Bezel politely waiting for him. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, Rick pulls him off. He can, oh, he can, he can knock over the ladder as well. And the power bomb to Bezel, the Father Creator, taken out, and now rolling out. Oh, that could be it for Bezel. Might be out of this match now. Rick versus EAB with the ladder there. <laughs> oh, 
Rick a wild swing and misses. EAB sends him over the ropes. Oh, oh no. Oh, go. God, he landed right in Bessel's crotch. <laughs> neither of them are there to stop extra arms bot. I think he is going to win. He's going to draw that taint into himself. And who knows what's in store. Thinks he's saving humanity, though. Has his hands on the belt. Here come both of them. Looks like they're not going to try. Oh, wait. Yes, they are. Oh, the sheer determination by both of these chaos acolytes desperately trying to get that power back. EAB hanging Ooh. on and drop down to safety. Bezel with the ladder. <laughs> Rick <laughs> hits right. him in the face. Plants one more time. Oh, boy. Again, Bezel with a good chance to win him, isn't he? EAB yeah, is totally it, done for on the outside. Yeah, it's that? up to Rick to save his own belt. Bezel hands on the belt. Does he have it? He's almost got it. Here comes Rick. Rick getting to his feet. Bezel's done it. Bezel's done it. Bezel has won the Chaos Chosen Championship. He will draw that Chaos Taint into himself. We will have to find out his fate and his future. As now it is time for one of the most awaited matches in JFW history. A triple threat elimination match for the Two Heads Championship. <laughs> yep. Yeah, barely, barely a chance to take a breath after that incredible performance. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to keep the show. I was trying to keep the show under two and a half hours, Jim. No problem at all. <laughs> it's high intent. It's a high intensity pay per view. Well, you know what? <laughs> Fuck these two, Johnny Five and Satterfield, the unnatural snackers. Once the apple of my eye, no longer coming down their yellow brick road with their carbo load. And they're going to try and win this uh, Tornado Tag Triple Threat Elimination Match and finally get their hands on the Extra Arms Belts. Sorry, the Two Heads Belts. Yeah. No more, but I, I sent him the thing as well. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It's not in the world. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, I was going to say something then. Oh, did I put the wrong two? Oh, I, yeah, my bad. My bad. Sorry, that's me because I had to remake all the tag teams. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it gets to giant, right, with the rubber. Well, this is, this is them in heel mode. They just spoiled the main event of uh, of shit, so they're coming out as heels now. So. Yeah, that's they don't what I'm do it to the audience. Yeah, you like you were popping a little bit then, Gorilla. I don't know why. I don't know if you're doing something differently. Uh, I was probably talking too loud. I might, the gain might have been up a little bit. Um, so here are the shitheads, the other challenges for the belt. What kind of belt is? What kind of match is this, by the way, Gorilla? Uh, it, oh, was I completely popping out? Uh, it is a it is a triple threat tornado elimination match. Everyone will be fighting at once, and each member can be pinned and eliminated from the match. Oh boy! <laughs> the chaos belt picks off was was won by Bezer. <laughs> Bezer. Bezel adding himself to the match, stealing the belt away from his former master and from his former child. We'll see what happens there. And now let us welcome your two heads champions, Das Hats. Yeah, he wasn't even in the match. He just inserted himself. He just ran out and grabbed that grabbed that brass belt. <laughs> yep. Well, on Wednesday night, we saw what should have been the epic conclusion. Two out of three falls in a Hell in a Cell between Lean Guerra, this summoned undead cowboy who's not really undead, and Dan Fox of Dress for Business. That match got spoiled by the interruptions of these partners as well as the Unnatural Snackers. And that's what led to this match. 2v2v2 elimination. <laughs> Or the two heads championship. <laughs> yes, thank fuck these two are the right way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> A giant twelve foot tall tin. That is my tin to <laughs> And if you ask J5. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's summoned summoned summoning his tag team partner or Lensis. Glorious, the country wizard himself. <laughs> Surely this can't be another win for shit. I really hope shit don't win this. Not gonna lie. 
<laughs> They're beginning to piss me off. <laughs> At least I got my hands on you, Gorilla. That's, that's yeah, well, hey, I gave it as good as I took, Jim. Again, you know, the, I think I think uh, sports analysts will be going over that matchup for decades to come. That sure was a match for the ages. And uh, I'm happy, you know, again, I, I got to say, I'm kind of happy it was a draw. Let's just get back to doing what we do best. And that's me doing all the talking and you saying, yep, and here we go. Triple threat tag team elimination match for the tag team champions, the two heads belts. Who's it going to be? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Absolutely, Bezel. That, that match I don't think will ever be topped. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I really like Triple H versus Take. A lot, a lot of people like the Michaels versus Take ones, but I prefer the Triple H versus Take. I love Triple H Take or Hell in a Cell. I like that one more than the Michaels ones. There, I said it. Yeah, unseen Walker with a bone to pick. With Lean Guerra and Oriolensis, I'm uh, not really sure why. Everyone keeps talking about some mythical tape that got out there. But uh, all I know is uh, he lost an over-the-top battle <laughs> roll fair and square as J5. Showing that enthusiasm. Oh, no, Lemon. Oh, no, he wasn't. I thought Lemon just got eliminated there for a second. <laughs> we should just make all of J5's taunts that taunt so he does it more. I think they, they are on my game. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I specifically had to do that when I was making the uh, Hell in a Cell match. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, hangs him up on the top rope, and here we go. Lemon is good, and Lean Guerra taking it to J5 as Oriolensis and Satterfield are battling on the outside, and Fan Fox is sitting there like an ass asshole. Oh, dear. Yes, it's no quite, this is quite good, isn't it? They've all got issues with each other, of course. The Snackers shitting all over the main event, and then... You know they've all been, you know, banging about the uh, tag team titles for ages. So this is all. This is an amazing culmination. Absolutely, and this and this is going to be it, folks. I guarantee. Uh, the powers that be have had about enough of these three teams. They're letting them sort it out tonight. And then I think that tag division is going to shake it up. And look at this, Fan Fox got him on Lean Guerra, the guy he wanted to beat in that finals, and he might have him eliminated here. Oh. No, it gets broken up where he kicked out. Hard to tell. But Fan Fox taking it right back to Lean Guerra. And, of course, those two were going to go after each other at some point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lean Guerra. Yeah, long before shit even existed, these three teams were tearing up the tag division. A nice Whoa. pin by J5. Just the two count. Very nice pin by J5 yeah. there. And now looking to maybe hit, uh, hit the curb stomp. Yep. Oh, he is. Oh, oh and he goes down curb stomp, pinned in the middle of the ring by J5. This could be it. Oh, he got him. Oh. Oreo Lemons was a bit too slow, oh, and Lean Garrett is out. Half of the tag team champs already eliminated that quickly, and now it's going to be really hard for them to retain. Yeah, the odds are absolutely stacked against Das Hats now. Oreo Lemons. Yeah. It takes a lot for J5 to string together five effective moves in a row, but he did it there, and he got the elimination. And now he might have Oriolensis in the ring alone here. <laughs> if Lemon can, uh, nope, Lemon cannot resist the urge to hit someone in the back. And here comes the Lemon drop. Oh, J5 in some trouble now. Sorry, Lean Guerra, but <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oriolensis on the cover. <laughs> oh, and Satterfield with the save there. He's looking for the trouble in paradise. He is, and Fanfox there to guard him. No one else is fighting. Oh, no. oh, I don't know what happened there. I think he slipped. I think Lemon slipped. <laughs> no one out of the ring. J5 was completely prone, could not defend himself. <laughs> and now it's the Snackers versus one half of each of the other teams in the ring. Oh, there's the, there's the big spine buster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh, there it is, the snack mass. Oh and Oreo is stealing it. another pin on Fan Fox here. And just the two count. Oh, he's going to go for the 150k dream, maybe. Yeah, might try and put him asleep. 
No! Van Fox able to elbow out of it as Satterfield almost dumps Lemon out of the ring, and now he does. J5 mm -hmm. on all fours over there. Uh, well, I think he thinks it's already time for the post match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been gonna fly though. Oh, this might not work out well for him. And there's no one to save Orlensis now. Oh, he managed oh, to he kick out. out saves himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and oh, Lemon dude. just broke his tailbone for like the fourth time in the last month. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely brutal. And now Fan Fox and or and J5 trading off on Oriolensis. They'd love to see him go. Two count kick out again by Oriolensis. Yeah, he's not so much of a threat now, or should they? They should really focus on getting uh, the other one down, I think, but fair enough. Well, hey, once Oriolensis is gone, there's no chance of shenanigans to uh, to to not have the titles change hands. Oh, shake, rattle, and roll coming from J5. Oh, boy. That could spell disaster for the Snackers. As it so often does. Yep, well, it's looking good here. No, maybe not. Yeah, me, you might be right on this one, Jim. <laughs> as soon as he hits oh, no. that. <laughs> oh, J5. J5's got to get out of the ring right now. Or he's going to get himself eliminated. As Fan Fox flexes, he's feeling it. And Lemon's beating up Satatoad on the outside. Oh, dear. I, I don't know what Fan Fox is doing up there. <laughs> yeah, Satterfield and Lemon have been going to war outside of the ring here. <laughs> <laughs> Oriolensis sends Fan Fox into the corner. J5 recovering, coming up on Oriolensis. No, going. Oh, no, he's going after Fan Fox. Oh, he's, no, he's not. Anyone. Dumped he's out of the ring. And so is Oriolensis. Uh, but Fan Fox going after J5 here. Maybe come looking to link up with Lemon. Oh, and the Snackers are in some trouble. Is this full count, Falls count anywhere? No, it is not. Okay. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, Fan does like his weird walks, doesn't he? Oh, oh. Yeah, well, the, I mean, you would too if you had an effective crab walk like Fan Fox has. <laughs> that thing has been the sign, the harbinger of things to come <laughs> in a lot of matches. Oh wow! Well, what a counter for you! That's awesome. a really heroic effort by the Country Wizard. Is. Oh, that's lemon busted open. Yep, the lemon juice is flowing, folks. <laughs> yeah, Satterfield making lemonade. <laughs> oh. J5 sent across uh, into harm's way there, and now we've got Snackers versus Dressed for Business. They love getting their hands on each other. <laughs> Yeah, Satador and Lemon just unleashing hell on each other outside. <laughs> oh, spine buster to J5, and now now he's getting double teamed here. Oh, Satterfield trying to come to his aid. Is it too late, though? Satterfield cannot stop beating on Lemon, and, I mean, it's hard it's hard to blame him, but, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm here rooting for dress for business regardless. Oh, the AA! What is this by Lemon? Wow. The double AA! Where's this coming from? Unbelievable. Into a pin on Satterfield. Oh, now J5 right there to break it up. Nice maneuvering by J5. <laughs> and I guess we're going to call that a successful drop kick. Yeah. That's exactly what it looked like to me. Oh, the low <laughs> blown Van Fox! This could be Van Fox eliminated here. Yeah, pin him, yeah. Harry Lens, oh. pin him! Lemon trying to get there for help, but J5 keeping him busy. Oh, he's doing the swing! Oh, a big spin! Look at this, Fan Fox! Oh, dear. <laughs> awesome. That's not going to feel good. Oh, God, oh, he's doing his Frankenstein. By J5. And no, he's going top rope, Johnny. Can he stick the landing? That could spell it for oh, the country wizard. <laughs> On the cover from Satatoad, but broken up. Oh, he got the knees off! Way too long. He found the knees! Lemon is not moving. Oh, and the oh, 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 everything's popping off now! And Satterfield lining up that big running knee. Who's he going to even hit here? <laughs> it's anyone's <laughs> guess. Oh, 
Fan Fox just had his jaw wrap around his head there from that. Oh, I, I love that. I love that clothesline. Yep. Oh, another snack mask coming. <laughs> and another snack mask going in the pinfall on the Country Wizard. Is this it for the tag champs? Surely. It is! We are going to have new champs! We've got the Unnatural Snackers versus Dress for Business. The pin on Lemon. Oh boy, Fan Fox is outside. No. Two down kick out, and here comes Fan Fox. Oh Side rush and sweep removes uh, Satterfield from the uh, double team on Lemon. J5 rolling out of the ring. Oh, bad time for J5 oh. to run. Leaving Satterfield hanging here. Oh, oh Lemon time left. Oh god, he's fucking Orlensis is fucking J5. J5 curricular's got his partner eliminated, and we're down to two on one. Man Fox and Lemon is good versus J5. Extra heroics. In his poised codal stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I think this might be another belt to shit here. J5 is going to have to dig deep to come back and win this one. <laughs> oh, it is looking like a shitastrophe. Oh, no. Oh, my Goodness, the full shit takeover, but we still have our main event next, and this one is far from over. Oh, yeah, well, the fox bottom. yeah, here comes the fox bottom. Good mm. night, sweet prince. That's all she wrote for J5. And dressed for business are oh, no! no! Come on, come J5 on, J5! J5 with the kick out. Can he make some magic happen? He's no country wizard, but he's got a little bit of him inside of him right now. <laughs> Would that be enough for a miracle? <sighs> no, another two count kick out. j 5 has got to get something going here. I don't know how he does it with both of these guys just taking it to him. <laughs> <laughs> J5 arm drag takedown Lemon down Fan Fox just hanging out over there Nope, no, he was just picking a shot Kidney punch Lemon going to celebrate They really need to turn up the heat on J5 right now yeah, this is A shake, rattle, and roll No, he interrupted the shake, rattle, and roll That might have been a mistake by Lemon Takes the big knee and rolls out of the ring Oh no, oh, no. Arm stomp coming, Lemon's out of the ring Oh he yes, won. come on, this could be it He's going to get the pin can he get the pin? J5! This has got to be. J5, he might have leveled it! Yes! He did. <laughs> it's down to Lemon is good and J5! What a match! What a match! Oh. What a heroic effort by J5 to come back! I don't care how much of a cunt he is! <laughs> Sorry for saying cunt twice, Jim! It's no problem, i let you off for saying cunt gorilla! <laughs> <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Oh dear! This is, this is anyone's ball game all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, it was looking grim two v one, but now he's right back in it, isn't he? Oh boy! Sends him in the ring, but here we go. Lemon working him over. J 5s not going to tap to something like that. Absolutely not. He only gives up sometimes. Is he just going to go for the pin here? No, he's going to wrench that knee. We've seen that in matches before. <laughs> oh, the lemon oh, drop. Lemon drop. This could do it. The lemon drop has ended a few matches in its day. Does he have them? He's got the pin here. Come on, J5. No. Yes! Yes! New champs! No. Trust this have done it. Wow, they, by the skin of their teeth, outlasting the unnatural snackers in that elimination match. God oh, damn it. Unbelievable. Does Scotty, we're not talking about it because I will lose all focus. But thank you, I appreciate Damn it. it. Unless you're being sarcastic. <laughs> oh, J5, I gotta say, as much as I hate you for what you did last Wednesday, you almost pulled it off. 
But there it is, your new two heads champions. Shit are running the board, and it's all up to the main event. Tony Blaze Poorly, you are on notice because here comes Scaramezzo. Here comes Scaramezzo's high intensity tournament traditional Survivor Series match for your main event for the control of the JFW is happening right now. Let's go to our first captain. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, now I definitely don't want you talking about it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't. He takes it all very seriously. No, no mentioning of it. No, we're fine. We're fine. This is kind of a write-off. Yes. Oh, what a glorious conclusion to an epic night. There he is, your future leader of the JFW, Scaramezzo. And he's coming to the ring. He's taking three other shitheads with him. And he is going to dominate the JFW and lead professional wrestling to a new era. God damn it, Gorilla. I tell you what, at, at least, at least I am the only person who has represented uh, the JFW like semi-successfully, so I can be <laughs> proud of that. But it's been a grim hey, night for the JFW. Hey, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far, Jim. I would say every single person from the JFW came out and put on a hell of an effort. Every single one of those matches could have gone either way, if you ask me. And uh, I, it's been, it's been something. But this one is winner take all, and that guy's got the look of a winner in his caveman forehead. <laughs> he's, he's got the look of a wiener. I'll give him that. Yeah, well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's find out who the shit all-stars will be. Well, we know who one of them are. The bagpipes are sounding. That means Kurgles are coming. Is he bringing some friends? Suspense. I know. Suspense is killing me. Oh, yes, indeed. Co founder of Shit Tarsus, Descotti. And Kurgle, those are some big bad bruisers making their way out to the ring to represent Skirmetsu's high intensity tournament. They are the team shit all stars. Yeah, these are all uh, these are all fucking big heavy bastards, aren't they? <laughs> Ouch, Nancy. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, we gotta have someone to get eliminated first, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Look, I mean. Yeah, just got his entrance is sad times, isn't it? But, uh... I, I know, Discotti. Uh, we were pressed for time. I was pressed for time. I couldn't do everyone's entrances. There's like 50 people on this show. Yeah. Yeah, it was some, some great editing by Skuro to trim it down. <laughs> I told Jim I'd keep it at, at or just around two hours. It, it was almost two and a half, so we cut the Wem Dope match. Did that happen in the pre-show? It did, yes. Uh, Squirrel defended in it. Squirrel retain. I I have been told Squirrel is looking to bring the Wem Dope into that status where it will be defended on a weekly basis on future shows. More info on that coming up because right now we have to worry about the future of the company. It's in the hands of the man coming out now. Tony plays poorly. The founder of the JFW, the leader, the face, the everything, the acting general manager come on tony you can do it you've got to do it save the, the jfw the, the weight of the worlds is in his hands on his shoulders however you want to say it it's been a rough night for jfw in the win column it's been a huge night for all of us in the audience the millions watching around the world and the whatever we got here 38 in the arena tonight with us 40,000 people in the arena. This sold out arena in Newcastle, England. Yep. All right, but let's see who Tony has deemed the saviors of the JFW. Who's got his back? I got to assume it's Frostlord and Clavius. That's how he rolls. Certainly think so.
Accurate to Scotty. Oh, wait, I had almost forgotten Unseen Walker had already been pegged as one of the uh, one of the saviors. And look at this with him. Is <laughs> Black coming out of the arena, just like, or coming out of the, the commentary box, just like Unseen Walker is coming out of the floor there. <laughs> Here we go. He's coming out of the booth. One's coming out of the booth. One's coming out of this floor. That is Unseen Walker's actual entrance, anyway. <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go. These two are bringing a war. There's a lot of beef going on in this, going into this ring. Let's take off those invisible hats, folks. Yes, that means it's time for a fight. Unseen Walker and Flicky Flack, our team, JFW. Here we go. Wait a second. That's only three. Who's our fourth here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The return of the glorious one himself. I wrote him off for dead. Everyone had. And that is Jimmy Min Max Mastic in the house. What an entrance. Oh, you have this moment. Oh, glorious. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Why are you going to ruin everything, Bezel? <laughs> He's 100% glorious, absolutely, Tony. <laughs> Oh, and he knows it. Look at that. Looking at the pinnacle of health. Seven toes. <laughs> ten fingers and one big ass heart. He's the glorious one. He's Jimmy. Fantastic. Oh, and he is here to help reclaim the JFW from the impending takeover by shit. I thought you might have more for us on this one. Jimmy Venture, I know you're a big I'm just enjoying fan. the moment. I'm just enjoying the moment. The glorious <laughs> return of the greatest of all time. Robbed of his extra arms block title by Vicious Wanger. Assaulting him in a hospital bed. I mean, already everyone thought his career was over after that horrendous attack backstage assault by Tarsis. Which led to the beginning of all this shit, wasn't it? That firing. It's, uh, and now he's here to end it. Oh my god. It's Absolutely. Amazing. Trying to bookend a tumultuous summer and early run of the JFW. But is he still in fighting form? He's been on the shelf for, what, three months now? Yeah, it's, it seems like forever. I can't remember the last time I saw this beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> None of us watching your stream can either. <laughs> oh. Glorious. And now he's back to s the savior of the GFW. Well, well, that is to be determined. He's got a long road ahead of him. I think Skirmetsos High Intensity Tournament are here to try and complete a clean sweep and take control. And what will a future look like under General Manager Skirmetso? Here we go. <laughs> and right off the bat, the two captains, Tony plays poorly, Skurametso going after each other, and Skuro working over Tony easily thus far. Savagery just slamming his head into the ring. And uh yeah, but oh, you know, this is this is the kind of match. This this you can't predict these matches. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Anything could happen. Has been nearly a clean sweep for shit thus far, hasn't it? Which is sure has, and maybe looking for a clean sweep in this match and calling it. He's really got Tony already down and already worked over. I don't know what he's doing here. Oh no, he's tagging in co-founder Tarsus, the big luchador. <laughs> Tarsus is wearing Tarsus's mask. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. And you'd love, you know, Jimmy would love to get his hands on Tarsus after everything that went down. But I think 
What he'd like more is a clean win and uh, securing the future of the JFW. <laughs> wow, Tony trying to attack Jimmy that maybe. <laughs> Huge, huge power from Tarsus here. Come on, Tony. You can do it. Kick him in his hairy balls. Tony getting uh, Tarsus set up over in a more friendly corner, tagging in Flicky Flack. Flicky would love to have a good showing in this match. Yeah, come on, let's do it for the JFW. Beat these shitheads. Oh, but Tarsus pretty quick to get out of that corner. Flicky right back on him, winds up the arm. No, forearm to the face. Tarsus, again, a super heavyweight luchador. You don't see many of them. He can fly, but he can brawl too. And look at the strength as he slams down Flicky. Yeah, he's pretty brutal, actually, isn't he, old Tarsus? Yeah. Also in the corner, Unseen Walker, a former world heavyweight champion himself. And he is a frenzied slayer. You know he's going to turn up the heat once he gets in the ring. And he wants it. But right now, Flicky working over to Scotty, the, the youngest, well, maybe not the youngest, but the, uh, the most rookie wrestler in this main Ooh. event match. Nice experience oh, from Tarsus. Oh, but Flicky, nice counter there. So many guys eager to make a name for himself in this one as they fight for the future of their aligned federations here. Will it be shit? Will it be JFW? Right now, Flicky in some trouble. No, nice counter, side rush, and leg sweep. But that count is ticking up. They got to be aware of that. It's very easy to lose track of yourself and get counted out in a, in a match like this, especially when you got three guys just waiting to hit you if you go near them. No, Muppet. Uh, maybe if everyone had a controller. Oh, nice Ooh. roll up by Flicky. Just the one count, though. He's going to need a little bit more on, more on Descotti before he's going to be able to get that pinfall. <laughs> oh, he just got a big boot. Huge miss for Descotti, and now he's going back in the friendly corner. Come on. Come on, Flicky. Oh, hangs him up there. Trio, whoa. What's Flicky got for him? He's got a big kick to the midsection. Flicky, of course, is from Sunderland, so there'll be a bit of needle, uh, a bit of extra needle here, taking on a Geordie. No, didn't realize that. <laughs> All right, well, you got a couple of Geordies in the ring, then. Yeah. yeah. Scotty got Jimmy himself uh, hailing from Newcastle, I believe. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, incredible. Two hometown heroes in the main event. One on yeah. each side. I wonder who drew that up, but nice plans to have Survivor Series on the home turf of some of the biggest names. Oh, look at this. Look at this. There's that luchador maneuver. Nice. Takes down Flicky back. Big problems here for the JFW. If Flicky can't hang on and get out of this. Ooh, deadlift powerbomb. Good night, Flicky. I think that might be it. No, he's standing him back up. Oh, and Flicky... Well. Somehow sends him over the ropes and gets the tag out to Tony Plays Poorly. Good have idea. Not, Keep Tony in. Yeah, STO to take him down. Have not seen Jimmy Fantastic in the ring yet. Again, that ring rust could be an issue for him. We'll find out. It could be, but I'm sure Jimmy's a consumer professional and will <laughs> be on top form. Well, he's been out of the limelight. Certainly must have been training for this comeback. Absolutely, yeah. Probably just waiting until he was absolutely sure he'd be competing at a hundred percent peak performance. Yeah, I mean, you you would you would certainly hope so. This would be a rough spot to jump into uh, if you weren't. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Maybe the company resting in your hands. Yep, and the legions of shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Shit is staining all the walls of the JFW right now. Oh, look at this. 
Tony going for a big back body drop by both of those men. Huge. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. That was really good, wasn't it? It's good. Gets out, slides yeah. back in. Very nice. Yeah, Kurgle can move in that armor, that's for damn sure. <laughs> and he, of all of the uh, shitheads on that corner, he is the dirtiest fighter of all of them. They, the, JFW has got to know that. Got to be aware of that low blow coming out anytime. Oh, no, Ooh, the stunner. Stunner. Tony looking to try and get the... And, oh, he hits stunner. it, too. Hits the stunner. Can he get the pinfall here? There is a lot of help on the way. No Man, help coming apparently. Oh, oh and Gurgle kicking out of the stunner. Shit new. They're here to play tonight, folks. That's fucking crazy, isn't it? Oh, nice little dig from Flicky. Oh, and a blind tag there. Coming in, Unseen Walker versus Kurgle. Oh, and the powerhouses. Oh, <laughs> well, he bounced off the first one and then sent him out of the ring. Oh, wait, was it not a tag? No, it was a tag. Okay. And here we go, Kurgle stalking Unseen Walker outside the ring now, the frenzied slayer. Hopefully won't frenzy trap himself outside the <laughs> ring here. And takes it to Kurgle. Oh, and Kurgle, nice, beautiful, sweeps the leg and takes him down. There is no mercy in his dojo. <laughs> oh, brutal maneuver. And again, all of these guys in the JFW, you know, Flicky and Unseen, really, Glory Hounds, and there you see it. Flicky may be looking to get involved back there. These guys really want to shine to cement their status in the JFW. Oof. Oh, and Flicky grabbing Kurgle. Unseen Walker doesn't really know what to do here. Maybe they're going to get the count out on Kurgle is what they're thinking here. Oh, and wait, what? He's blocking Unseen Walker, though. <laughs> well, Flicky being a little selfish, now sending him in the ring. And Unseen Walker's going to have to hurry. No! Oh, he, didn't it. he didn't make it! No. He got counted out! He got counted out! Flicky got in his way! No. And Unseen Walker got counted out! Oh, no! A huge misstep by the JFW! Oh, no. And Flicky gets Unseen Walker eliminated early oh and but here you go jimmy fantastic here we go to scotty taking it to saying welcome back to the J jfw you don't know my name but my name's to scotty and i'm gonna work you over <laughs> Uh, chimp, I gotta do what I I gotta I gotta work with what the game fucking gives me, man. I got these are this is a like a forty plus minute match. <laughs> I wasn't gonna replay it. Sorry, sorry, unseen. I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> I just I didn't. You know, I don't I don't want to go I don't want to go into it too much, but like I only can do so much for you guys. I try really hard. I do. <laughs> the spots <laughs> it has been a, a night dominated by shit really and, uh, <laughs> and now we're just the last bastion of, of hope that we've got is is uh is that we can somehow yeah. team jfw can win the main event and uh you miss what could be called one of the greatest wrestling moments in professional sports history jbg gorilla mezzo fighting Jimmy Ventura to a draw on a double count out in one of the most epic feats of athleticism we've ever seen. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. The pinnacle of sports entertainment that match was. I only did that for a few specific matches. If I get the result, I get the result. So <laughs> you can rest assured I got the result on this one in the first try. <laughs> Yeah, Flicky was hungry for victory, wasn't he? Oh, and Descotti setting Jimmy up on that table, maybe. Oh, no way. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a welcome back to the JFW? Sadly not. Not today, folks. Good. <laughs> Never today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
great. I might have gotten fully erect when that happened live, though. <laughs> oh, boy. And J Jimmy, fantastic. Big suplex to the big man. Now tagging in the captain, Tony, play this poorly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> oh, in here. Oh, yeah, another another casualty of uh, unfortunate. I can't replay these matches. <laughs> yeah, it'll be up on uh, it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. Ooh. Until then, you can watch it, of course. Are you not allowed to put uh, things on YouTube from Twitch until after twenty four hours? Some people don't give a fuck about it, but uh, yeah. I do. Oh, and now Tony and Scotty in that Tony's same, in, that. in that same in that yeah that same dangerous spot with the clock ticking. Here comes Kurgle, maybe. Nope, Kurgle staying out of the way, and Scotty back in the ring. Tony back in the ring. Shit really has their uh, shit together. They're they're watching that clock a bit better. Oh no! Oh, what a bulldog busts open to Scotty, and yeah, against all odds, that's where Tony likes to play most of the time. <laughs> Yes, Lingari, yeah. Traditional Survivor Series match, but just ignore the fact that it's 4v4. <laughs> yeah, you can't do 5v5, unfortunately. Maybe in 2K22 or whatever when it comes out. If it yeah. comes out. <laughs> oh, and a DDT on that already injured forehead and the quick pin. Oh, this is it for Descotti. No, Kurgle to the rescue. Breaks up the pinfall. Oh, and there's that single leg knee strike. We've seen that in matches before, folks. <laughs> Yeah, you can't do 5v5, JBG. Oh, there's the uh, <laughs> wrestling ball through. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think there will ever be another 2K WWE game, personally. Yeah. There will be another WWE game of this kind of caliber, but I don't think it'll be 2K. Super Mega Wrestling 3 would be amazing. This game cannot handle more than eight people in the ring at once, JBG. Even in Royal Rumbles, it caps at eight. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Oh, what is this? Laughing <laughs> <laughs> his head and now celebrating. <laughs> the, the super heavyweights just crushed Tony's skull with their beer guts. And now the pinfall. <laughs> Oh, and just a two count, but Scotty was so quick to intercept Jimmy. Fantastic there. I think Tony's on his last legs. And if JFW goes down their captain, good night, sweet prince. Yep. I do think he has got a necklace on, yeah. Uh, yeah, he does have a necklace on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was some... That was some yeah, I was waiting for people. I wanted. I, I think the unnatural snackers have that move too, and they didn't pull it off. Oh man, that would be amazing. But someone did. Okay. And Tarsus here. Oh, he's gonna. Yep, sends him through and into that turnbuckle post. Brutal stuff. Tarsus, no mercy whatsoever. <laughs> Big flying crossbody into the pin, but Ricky right there to save the captain. Oh, look at that! <laughs> he's really, he's really uh, saying "fuck you" to the shitheads there. Fantastic stuff. Come on, Tony. Uh, the the triple power bomb is actually a skill, Muppet. It it just happens randomly. It's not it's not part of the move sets. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit. And Tony sending Tarsus into the corner. Is he gonna tag in Jimmy? He's thinking about. It. He's trying. Oh, he forgot. Give me Tarsus. Tag you can hear tag Jimmy saying. Sometimes. Tag out sometimes. <laughs> Oh, no, he's just going to line up Tarsus. He's staring him down. He's having words. You can see the shit talking going between Tony Boyle and Tarsus. He's telling him the end is nigh. And we're coming back. We're going to take over. And, yep, he lays it in with the fist now. 
Yep. So far, we've uh, just had Unseen Walker eliminated from Team JFW, and all four <laughs> shitheads remain. Yes, they do. So do Tony on the odds. Oh. Like, uh, yeah, hey, putting up a hell of a fight. Really needed to tag out there. Oh, no. But he's busted open Tarsus with that Luthez press, and here no comes the ref. No one's helping. Oscuro is, but he's slow. Oh, he got it. Yes. Yes. Way too slow. The ref was really slow to count. I think JF, or I think shit, maybe underestimated that as all of them are going after Tony outside the ring right now. Oh, Don't know who the legal man for shit is. Not Scuro. Mm. Looks like maybe it's Scotty. Oh no, and now Tony busted open. He's taking a ton of damage, but he's fighting off both shitheads right now. Yeah, he's beating them both off. But yeah, JFW evening the matchup, taking out co-founder Tarsus. Yeah. And Tony still not tagging out. Finally does, gets to Flicky Flack. Descotti assuming the position there. No, rolls out <laughs> of the attack. And right into a power a, a scoop slam there by Flicky. I don't know yeah. how Tony withstood all that. He was taking a ton of damage. Yeah, and able to get out of the ring. He has the heart of a champion for sure. And the belt of a champion. He is the champion. <laughs> yeah. Scotty's stalking Flicky. Flicky has not tasted that championship gold before. Would sure love a shot at it. And notching a win in this match could help his cause. Even after the misstep with Unseen Walker earlier. And here comes Kurgle. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, good jab by Flicky. Beautiful suplex. <laughs> wow, Kurgle. And Kurgle just exploded out of the ring there. <laughs> the force of that suplex sent him out of the ring. Incredible. Maul oh, misses with the big boot. And. Oh! oh! Runs into a Uranagi or a rock bottom or whatever you want to call it from Flicky there. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> and the. Oh no, he gets the rope break off the Boston Crab there. Thank God for that. Boston Crabs are uh, devastating. <laughs> so they should be. <laughs> <laughs> and Flicky fired up, just taking it to Kurgle. Trying to rip his helmet off, see what's inside that glowing head. Not today, though. Kurgle back to his feet. Yeah, Tony has taken a lot of damage, hasn't he? You can see he's tired on the outside there. Uh, and now Kurgle took a moment too long to figure out what to do with him. <laughs> yeah. And gets the chop lock. Quick kick, though, gets him back to his feet. Oh. oh, no, he runs into another one of those STO this time. Yeah. I think I think that's what that's yeah, called. Yeah, I think it is. And a running power slam. Ooh. Flicky is on fire right now. Rolling out of the ring for a breather. Yeah, he really is. And bat right back in. Would love to get an advantage for the JFW. Maybe thinking about... Nope. No, he's tagging in Tony. I thought he was thinking about going for that spear. And Tony just flipping off Kurgle right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe a, maybe a stunner coming. Oh, no, Kurgle, Kurgle able to push out of it. Blood streaming from Tony's head as he lays right back into him. Can't get that, but he can do this. Tilt-a-whirl slam. Hey, Morpovich. And a nice, uh, ooh, nice uh, modified neck breaker there. It's going pretty well. The future of the JFW rests in the result of this match. We are at 3v3 in this traditional Survivor Series match as Tony plays poorly, trying desperately to eliminate the Kurgle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> God, Jimmy's really feeling it. Maybe he is. Yeah, a bit. Jimmy hasn't fought in a while, but he's <laughs> holding onto the rope by his pinkies there. <laughs> Again, maybe maybe focus too much on the bodybuilding, not enough cardio. <laughs> oh, you can see that little glitch. That means my controller fell asleep while the match was going. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> and now here is speak of him. Nice shoulder tackle. Oh, Jimmy, fantastic. Glorious. Shame he didn't get his Turtle. hands on Tarsus, but uh Kurgle Yeah, yeah, never do. never got the chance. I'm sure he will in the future, as Tarsus will be running the show with three more eliminations. <laughs> and Kurgle now struggling outside. Ref counting up. We're up to a three count. Whoa. Oh, the rock bottom. Yes. He hit the rock bottom outside the ring, though. He's going to have to pull him in to pin him or maybe just lay it into him outside here and get the count out. Both these guys in trouble, though, on the clock. Yeah, maybe we could see another count. Now. And Jimmy <laughs> just sends him flying. He's nowhere near an exit point. Oh, Jimmy's smart. Oh, so smart. That's some, that's some big brain moves by Jimmy. Eight count. Will Tarsus be able to? Uh, excuse me. Will Kurgle be able to recover? Here he comes. He's on his. <laughs> Jimmy oh, I think that's it. Yes. Uh, oh, Jimmy, you got to turn around, buddy. A familiar face in the story of Jimmy. Oof. Fantastic. Drops him right into the turnbuckle. Oh dear. But no, Jimmy, right back at him. Oh, look at this! What an insult. The Boston <laughs> Crab to the man from Boston will screw a tap. He does not. <laughs> you know he's been waiting months to deliver that one, Jim. <laughs> Absolutely. Come on, Jimmy. And now it's down to just Scurro and to Scotty against three GFW w, uh, competitors. Suddenly the tides have significantly turned, but that man in the ring, Scurro is a fucking warrior, and I think he's going to go through all three of these guys like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, I mean he's not in backstage, which is which is his number one environment. But yeah, oh no, the ultimate oh. splash! He is a tough Jimmy's got the, the pin here. Can Scotty save this? That's all that's gonna save this. He's not gonna no, it, no, never mind. Now Scurro, easy kick out by Scurro. Oh, that vicious neck crank. You love to see it. <laughs> yep. Skrull does have a plague of neck issues. It's not a bad move by Jimmy as he goes into the corner here, setting Skrull up for something. Drops him down. Trio Woe going to maybe stomp a hole in his chest. Yep. Oh, just one big kick to the gut. Where's he going? What's he doing here? Just having a breather. Yeah, again, the, you know, a few months off is all it takes to lose some cardio. Jimmy really overperforming my expectations for this one. Yeah, he's... Scar battling back, quick punch, trying to get some offense going. Oh, and this is a great way to do it. Hanging neck breaker there. Nice little upskirt on Jimmy. Oh, baby. <laughs> Got a lovely old JFW upskirt. Yep, and sends him into the corner. Jimmy is probably taking the least amount of damage of anyone. Oh, oh no! Bottom. Oh, no! The rock bottom! The rock bottom to Scurro, and he's got him. This Come on! It. Get in there, Discotti. Oh! What? Flicky got in! Flicky got in and intercepted him perfectly, but Scurro somehow kicked out, and now he's turning it on. No help coming on the next pinfall here. Scurro's going to have to battle back real quick. Thank you. And now Flicky going to do some work on Skuro. Not much, though. He misses with the stomp. Trying to get him up for the clothesline. No counter by Skuro. <laughs> oh, and he misses on the splash. Mm -hmm. Oh, package uh, shoulder breaker here. No. Nope. Countered mm -hmm. by Flicky. Nice <laughs> counter. Surprised no one pointed out uh, Skuro uh, changed his belt to a black belt from white after months of ridicule. <laughs> Finally, get to him. <laughs> oh, <brilliant. laughs> and Skuro fighting his way to his feet really needs a win here, really needs to get an elimination. Can he do it on Flicky? Oh, boy, nope, here we go. Tony. The champ is here. Oh. Leveled him with that clothesline and spear. 
Yep, and now it is and the, now... the leaders. The leaders facing off. Yep. Oh no, Skuro busted open on that elbow. Both men streaming blood. They have gone to war tonight. Skuro is going to have to do something, and this could be it. Pop a power bomb coming. He's got him. Oh! No counters by Tony. What a counter by Tony. Oh, he's straight into the, the stutter. Into the stutter. Oh no, Skuro in trouble. He, he does no counter on the stunner. Skuro oh, takes it. And that could be it for the oh, shit leader. Good. Oh no, Jimmy in to protect the pin. Oh, but the Scotty there takes out the ref, and now he's paying for it. Skurro getting a moment's respite here. <laughs> no idea, Antsy. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, Bessel. <laughs> <laughs> And Skuro somehow still in this, but it's getting desperate. He's taking a ton of damage. Nice. Oh, nice slam there. Oh, Tony right back up. <laughs> and, and now Skuro right back to his feet. These two are just putting everything on the line right here. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the Scotty and, and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, there was some brain worms. <laughs> yeah, no one in the jail to be myself and Jimmy. Well, here we go. Samoan drop there by Skuro. <laughs> exactly. And Tony exactly. counters out, kicks him in the midsection. Oh, here Move we go. That press. Punching him open. Oh my god, blood is just gushing out of his forehead now. And the pinfall attempt here. And a two count kick out again. Skuro hanging on, somehow still alive in this match. Descotti nowhere to be seen. This is quite the performance from Skuro, somehow staying alive. Oh, God, he's got a fucking shotgun blast to the forehead there. <laughs> yeah. And Tony looking for one more. Stunner hits it. Oh, this is Skuro is it. down. It's got to be. It's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> he kicked out again. Unbelievable. Oh, he's got Tony. Tony, all business going right back to it. Come on, Scotty, we got to get you to your feet. Another stunner oh, no. puts down Skuro, and I think that might be the nail in the coffin for the leader of shit. Can he do it one more time? No, he cannot. The Scotty in too late. Skuro Metso eliminated, and it's down to the rookie, the Scotty, to take on all three members of the JFW. Let's go, to Scotty. What a beast Skuro was. That was a hell of a performance. <laughs> Unbelievable, but too little, too late. Can the Scotty somehow, can the miracle happen? Yeah, he's up against it now, isn't he? He's again really numbers. The numbers game is uh, really against him now. Yeah, it felt like JFW was behind the mark the entire match. But really, if you look at it, it's just that one misstep with Unseen Walker. And otherwise, a clean sweep by these two. Oh, beautiful. What's going on here? Winds him up into the power bomb. Nice move by Descotti. Can some her some last-minute heroics save shit's incursion in the JFW? Oh, that was a good move Skura. by the ref to get out of the way and avoid yeah, certain I don't know how he survived that. <laughs> Skura is still outside the ring there. Uh, looks dead on his feet. No, no, he's finally stirring. Here he goes. Oh, my God. Look at his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and does Scotty trying to maybe get a submission? Nope. Flicky knees out of it. Oh, fall away pump handle. Beautiful stuff. Flicky fired up. Oh, okay. Flicky going to notch the win for the JFW here. <laughs> oh boy it's gorilla's favorite move <laughs> <laughs> yeah yay good job flicky I'm proud of you for that one that was impressive stuff you really hit him in the shoulder well all right the scotty though so much drama here 
Ken Descotti, the newcomer, one of the newest members of either roster. Can he make it through all three JFW All-Stars? <laughs> Frostlord. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what you were quoting. I'd be con concerned. <laughs> well, Orient has already done that tonight. Frosty. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We already <laughs> did have some on-screen sex. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Edge and Lita. Yeah, they've got to step the game up. <laughs> and a two count to Scotty hangs on. Flicky just, oh, there we go. That trapezius claw, one of the most devastating, <laughs> paralyzing moves <laughs> in pro wrestling. Yep. And now, who's he going to tag in here? Tony looking worse for wear. And oh. he does the glorious one himself. Can Jimmy Fantastic mount the comeback and end this match for the JFW? Or will he get tossed out of the ring like an asshole? <laughs> Oh dear. Come on, Jimmy. You can do it. Two Geordies in Newcastle, England in the ring. Oh! oh he just kicked them. his damn head off. <laughs> to Scotty with the big boot. And unlike Satterfield, he's got the feet to fit the man. Jimmy streaming blood. Everyone but Flicky colored up right now. <laughs> Come on, Jim. You can do it. As he, I don't even know what his finisher is. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. No longer the rear view. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, the rock bottom, pretty much out of nowhere, <laughs> right in the corner there. Is this it? Oh, it does. It sure be. looks like it. To Scotty, let's kick out. Come on, for the shit, for the shit, all stars. Yes. <laughs> And there it is, Team JFW with the win. Well, well, Jimmy, I got uh, Jim, Jimmy Venture. I got to tell you, well fought by all. JFW lost the battles, but they won the war. Oh, the future is in the hands of these men in the ring right now. Oh, wait, let's enjoy that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Un oh, Unseen Walker's pants. <laughs> They're just falling off. <laughs> oh, well, those four men, well, three and a half, I should say, saved the JFW for another day. Goodbye, shit. Hello, JFW future. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for Survivor Series unbelievable stuff by everyone up and down the card my name is gorilla mezzo jimmy ventura thanks so much for having me i tip my cap to you have yourself a wonderful night i'll see you later shitheads yeah thank you very much gorilla amazing show unbelievable stuff um so yeah you know f fantastic performance from everybody thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic